We're taking pictures of these objects with astonishing precision. It's like, whoa. But no, so it comes out to be, that's how we get 500 billion or more galaxies. It's one of the most fascinating questions you could ask, and one that humanity has been asking since the dawn of time. What lies beyond the known boundaries? What is beyond the edges of our maps? The ultimate version of this question is, what lies beyond the universe's boundary? The answer is, well, let's just say that it's tricky. However, only a few months after its launch, the new James Webb Space Telescope has discovered something massive and interesting at the edge of the cosmos that threatens to turn physics on its head. What has the new Space Telescope discovered at the edge of the universe? Why are scientists ecstatic about it? Join us as we discuss how the JWST recently discovered something massive on the fringes of the observable realm. In Berlin in 1915, at the height of World War I, Albert Einstein came up with a revolutionary theory of gravity that substituted Newton's, and in 1916, he applied it to the largest source of gravitating mass he knew of, the universe. Einstein's theory demonstrated that the universe could not be stationary and had to be in motion, either expanding or contracting. In fact, American astronomer Edwin Hubble observed in 1929 that galaxies were flying apart like cosmic shrapnel in the aftermath of a massive explosion, the Big Bang. This is essentially what we mean by the universe expanding. The distance between galaxies is increasing. Einstein's theory may readily describe a universe that stretches on forever and has no edge, or one that bends back on itself like a higher dimensional version of a ball's surface and thus has no edge. In the latter situation, we would need to peer far enough away with our telescopes to see the identical galaxies on opposite ends of the universe. Others would argue that the universe has an actual edge because it was born 13.82 billion years ago in the Big Bang. Because of this, the only galaxies that we are able to observe are those whose light has travelled a distance of less than 13.82 billion years to reach us. These galaxies exist in a sphere of space centred on the Earth that we call the observable universe. It is actually 92 billion light years across because the universe expanded far faster than the speed of light in its first split second of existence. The observable universe is bordered by a cosmic horizon similar to the sea horizon. Just as we know there's more oceans beyond the horizon, we know there's an unlimited number of galaxies beyond the cosmic horizon. Their light simply hasn't reached us yet. Can the JWST, however, see the edge of the universe? When considering the development and deployment of a $10 billion space telescope, it is natural to wonder if it can see that far. To begin with, the JWST is 100 times more powerful than the iconic Hubble Space Telescope. It can collect very faint infrared light from the universe's very first galaxies. It will also be able to explore planets around other stars in our galaxy and analyse their atmospheres for signs of life. However, the question of what scientists will observe when they train the telescope at the edge of the universe remains unanswered. There is the unobservable universe and the observable universe. In simple terms, the visible universe is all you can see assuming your eyes can detect all types of radiation around you. The observable cosmos has a limit since the farthest invisible light we can see comes from the cosmic microwave background which occurred roughly 13.8 billion years ago. At that moment, the universe was opaque like a dense fog. Some scientists believe that some of the gravitational waves and neutrinos that surround us come from even further away. However, such a claim cannot be sustained at this time because the essential technology is not yet accessible. However, cosmologists argue that if you want a more scientific explanation, the same physics applies, or that the observable universe is only a small part of a broader reality. Able 2744Y1 is one of the galaxies discovered by scientists near the farthest edge of the universe. This galaxy is distinct for a number of reasons. Able 2744Y1 is so far away that its light takes 13 billion years to reach us. Remember that the cosmos is estimated to be 13.8 billion years old. 
One intriguing characteristic of ABLE 2744Y1 is that we are observing it at a young age of about 650 million years. This is true of all far things in space, since light from far objects in space has taken so long to reach us here on Earth. Spitzer, Chandra and Hubble telescopes were used to discover ABLE 2744Y1. But how could three telescopes work together to find a single object? While Spitzer uses the infrared portion of the electromagnetic spectrum, Hubble uses visible and near-infrared light to capture photographs. Scientists use Chandra to collect more data using X-ray wavelets. Astronomers were able to examine galaxies up to 100 times more distant than any of the observatories could have done alone by combining data from these three space telescopes. The Hubble Space Telescope, which detected the questioned galaxy, was the first tool utilised by astronomers from Spain's Instituto de Astrofisica de Canarias IAC, and La Laguna University. Spitzer's equipment is then employed to calculate the distance between the object and its position. The telescope also helps to calculate the number of stars in the galaxy. In addition to imaging ABLE 2744Y1, the scientists used a method known as gravitational lensing. The underlying print concept is comparable to how a magnifying glass bends sunlight because images from remote galaxies are brought into focus by galaxies closer to Earth. In his general theory of relativity, Albert Einstein predicted that this natural telescope would be used to examine the most distant objects in the universe. So how large is this galaxy? ABLE 2744Y1 is rather small in size, according to astronomers. With a width of about 2,300 light-years, it is nearly 50 times smaller than our own Milky Way galaxy. What it lacks in size, it more than makes up for in star creation. It creates stars at 10 times the rate of the Milky Way, which is characteristic of galaxies in the early cosmos. The redshift of the ABLE 2744Y galaxy is 8. Redshift is a measure of how far an object's light has been pushed to redder wavelengths as the universe has expanded. Prior to the finding of ABLE 2744Y1, the furthest proven galaxy had a redshift of more than 7. From the most distant galaxy ever imaged, we move on to another distant object. It's a supernova this time. What is the furthest distant supernova discovered by astronomers to date? That distinction is held by DES16C2NM. If you're wondering why the name, it's because the supernova was identified by the Dark Energy Survey, a research initiative aimed at better understanding the enigmatic force said to be responsible for how the universe's expanding is speeding up. Supernovae are some of the most massive explosions that we have ever witnessed. Consider an atomic warhead with far greater boom. They depict the star's last courageous effort before death. These stars are at least five times larger than the sun. Here's how the stars behave so we can understand how they die. Massive stars, in essence, burn massive amounts of nuclear material in their cores. Tons of energy are released as a result, and the core gets incredibly heated. This heat causes pressure to rise, and the pressure created by a star's nuclear burning keeps it from collapsing. When you look up at the night sky and see a star, it is because there is a balance between two opposing forces. On the one hand, the gravity of the star wants to crush it into the smallest, tightest ball possible. On the other hand, the nuclear fuel burning in the star's core provides a stronger outward counter pressure. The gravity's inward compression is countered by this outward push. When the star's fuel runs dry, it begins to cool, causing a drop in pressure. This will continue until gravity wins and the star explodes spectacularly. This is a rapid occurrence since the collapse occurs in a short amount of time. It would be like the Earth collapsing in about 15 seconds. This collapse causes shock waves, forcing the outer section of the star to burst. When two stars collide, a supernova can occur. Because supernovas are rare, with only two or three happening in a century, when one occurs, it is usually spectacular. DES16C2NM was discovered in 2016, and analysts confirmed that such a supernova is extremely rare. 
It's almost like a hypercharged version of what we'd normally think of as a normal supernova. This discovery was made by a multinational team of astronomers who believe the explosion occurred approximately 10.5 billion years ago. This means that the light from the explosion has travelled to us for more than three quarters of the universe's history. Furthermore, due to the expansion of the cosmos, the supernova's position is much further away. In addition, the team sought the help of three powerful telescopes, including the Very Big Magellan Telescope and the Keck Observatory. It took five years and 525 nights of observation with over 400 scientists from all over the world participating. While the scientists encountered various challenges in identifying the supernova, their efforts will be rewarded in a variety of ways. The vast distance of DES-16C2NM gives scientists a whole new understanding of the nature of superluminous supernovas, or SLSN. Scientists can determine the amount of matter created in the explosion by studying the ultraviolet light from the SLSN. It can also show the temperature at which the explosion happens. These two variables are crucial in understanding what causes and drives these massive cosmic explosions. Scientists are on the lookout for additional distant supernovas as a result of the spectacular discovery of DES-16C2NM. Therefore, it may not be long before another is detected. Let us know in the comments what you think is beyond the edge of the universe.